This is a very short video to help people understand how hotelier connections that are being fitted to LSL planes are locked using Erling sleeves that were specific to LS. Here you can see the hotelier connection. You have the socket on the left and the ball in the middle. On the right hand side you see a red knurled sleeve that literally unwinds out and when the ball and socket connected the idea is it goes over the socket stopping the ball possibly becoming disengaged the problem with this system like all systems actually they're not quite foolproof is that it's possible to have the ball half engaged and then you wind the red sleeve out which then wedges it in place but when the angle changes you'll notice it actually comes disconnected and you'll see that in this very short video now go for it in this picture, you can see the ball and socket are joined together, but not fully, and the ball's sticking out quite a lot. Now, you'd think normally this would be quite easy to spot. The problem we have, however, is that in quite a few LS gliders, access is extremely poor, and it's all literally done by feel. Um, the only way to visually see these is to use the mirrors fitted in some of the gliders that build. Um, what I recommend you do is when you actually connect the hotelier and ball together, before you put the sleeve over it, um, have a visual inspection. If the mirrors don't do the job, you're going to have to get something else in there, maybe a mobile phone. Be very careful not to drop it or even put a bit of string on it. Have a visual inspection of it, put your finger over it, make sure it feels good. And also have somebody else check that as well. Only once you've actually checked the ball and socket are connected correctly, then put the red sleeve over the ball and socket. And again, visual inspection, make sure it completely covers the ball totally. At that point, you know it'd be rigged and should be safe to fly. But as always, duplicate inspections and positive control connects. Go for it. So there you have it, all fully connected and working, and then just change the angle very slightly and it pops off.